always learn from trusted and certified person instead of untrusted source or uncertified person because learning from untrusted source can put your risk of passing this exam if you missed question number 1 to 10 please check previous parts of the series so let's begin by marking the keyword if there are governance requirement where resources should be created with some specific criteria as uh, mentioned here in the question that is canada central or canada east region uh, then the trick to answer this kind of question is to look for azure policy assignments in the option and uh, you should get your answer since option a mentions as a policy assignment we'll keep this and reject the rest let's confirm this in the official documentation it's written policy assignments are used by azure policy to define which resources are assigned which policies or initiatives the policy assignment can determine the values of parameters for that group of resources at assignment time making it possible to reuse policy definitions that address the same resource properties with different needs for compliance also if you look uh, scroll down a bit in the same documentation it's written in the following example scenario just note the scenario it is uh, the same use case uh, which the question also asked the new policy assignment will evaluate only if the resources location is either us or west us so you mention we can mention specific criteria like the regions uh, so this works like this you can have a look at this lock option a as the policy assignments as the correct answer all right all right let's bring the heat to the snow you might have heard about splunk and sentinel as a part of the certification and it's about integration this too interesting question we'll look at option a ac is microsoft sentinel data connector so data connector can receive data but cannot send data from sentinel to splunk which is what the question is looking for use of data connector is just the opposite so this is uh, incorrect choice let's now move to option b b c is the azure data factory the question if you look is not about data engineering or etl so we don't need data factory if this is out let's move to option c c c is the azure storage account storage account you know uh, is uh, meant for storage storage accounts cannot be used to send security events therefore uh, again incorrect choice we are left out with one option that is azure event hub so azure event hub can be used to buffer and route events between sentinel and splunk this solution provides scalability and reliability in handling high volumes of security events therefore the correct answer will log this okay let's look at this question option a says sentinel threat intelligence workbooks so one of the most common use of sentinel threat intelligence workbook is to develop alerting as per the question mentioned uh, during a triage of alerts here uh, it's looking perfect fit we'll park this option let's look at option b and d together b says logic apps d says azure functions so logic apps and azure functions promote serverless architecture but no way related to security which can suggest remediation as uh, required here in the question so these are incorrect choices we are automatically left out with two correct answers so option c let's look what it has to say c says threat intelligence reports in defender for cloud so when defender for cloud identifies a threat it triggers a security alert which contains detailed information regarding the event including suggestions for remediation as well and that's what the question is looking for so these two are the correct answer if we look at the community post it's mentioned common use cases include threat hunting developing alerting that's what threat intelligence workbook uh, is known for as mentioned there are many use cases you can have a read uh, at uh, all these and in the interest of time we'll lock option a and c as the correct answer all right all right the question is about docker images this question is related to security and kubernetes somewhat let's look at option a a says enable defender plans 
first we need to enable the defender for container plan in order to update the secure score this can be the potential answer the question is looking for two correct answer we'll park this let's move to option b b says configure auto provisioning next we need to make sure that it deploys to our container resource with auto provision this can be another potential answer we'll park this as well let's look at option c c says uh, configure uh, azure ad connect azure ad you know is completely off topic and we'll eliminate this let's look at option d d says disable azure firewall disabling any kind of firewall will do just the opposite of what the question is looking for therefore we don't need it therefore we'll reject this and we'll lock option a enable defender plans and option b configure auto provisioning as the correct answer let's understand the requirement of the question since as per one of the requirement of the question we need to prevent exposure of public ip addresses as uh, here uh, the requirement goes so the answer got to be the azure bastion one of the answer definitely uh, let's scroll through the option option we'll look at option a and b because both mention azure bastion and uh, both options somewhat if we look contradict each other let's read option a says deploy azure bastion to both virtual networks while option b says deploy azure bastion to only one virtual network so between a and b we got to choose a better option regarding option a deploying uh, to azure bastion would increase the cost rather than reducing it because if you look here the requirement it says reduce cost so we need to meet this requirement as well so on the ground of that uh, we'll uh, reject option a for now and keep option b let's move to option c c says create a hub and spoke network by using virtual network peering azure bastion should be deployed to a virtual network which supports virtual network peering specifically azure bastion manages rdp or ssh connectivity to virtual machines created in the local or peered virtual networks this can be another potential answer we'll park this let's uh, see what option d has to say d says enable just in time also known as jit access for the virtual machines we don't require just in time access for the virtual machines as in the question there is no mention of timing for the virtual machines like uh, one hour or eight hours if you have done the hands-on then you might be knowing about uh, just in time so this is out we'll look at uh, the official documentation it says you can use azure bastion to easily open an rdp or ssh session from the azure portal to vm that's not publicly exposed so as per the question that's what required like uh, we need to forbid uh, public ip addresses you don't have to expose rdp ports ssh ports or public ip addresses for your internal vm so that's what is required we'll lock option b and c as the correct answer for this if you're liking the way i explain please hit the thumbs up button because as a content creator it motivates me to bring out more videos for you and also please hit the bell icon because only few I think 10% are subscribed to my channel and if you don't press the bell icon you will miss notifications for the latest practice exam series which are updated on my channel all right all right let's bring the heat to the snow the question is boxed so in real exam uh, we need uh, to uh, select the drop down and the options will appear let's look at box one box one says uh, data security uh, let's read the first option says it says access keys stored in um, azure storage account so we should never store access keys on a storage account because if the storage account gets compromised uh, then the entire data will also get compromised we don't def definitely don't want this this is incorrect let's look at what uh, second option has to say it says access keys stored in azure key vault so this uh, looks good uh, we'll park this let's keep this uh, let's look at the, the uh, this azure private link with network service tags and uh, azure firewall so these are uh, used for uh, network access control like um, it can be used for box 2 but for box 1 data security these two are definitely uh, like uh, distractors or incorrect 
so we'll reject this we are left out with access keys stored in azure key vault uh, we use uh, azure key vault to secure the data as uh, um, like in uh, practice to uh, in uh, day to day projects we have done it uh, this looks good we'll uh, log this let's move to the box 2 box 2 says uh, network access control so for network access control first two options are related with data security which we tackled few moments back so these are definitely out we will focus on the last two options so if we read um, azure private link with network service tags this is the only qualified option for network access control azure firewall you know we uh, it's it's somewhat associated with uh, like preventing uh, cross site scripting or sql injection or any kind of bots so um, uh, firewall is out if you look at the official documentation it says data security these keeps must be present in azure key vault for automation service to be able to access the keys so that's what for box one and uh, for um, the box two if you look network isolation use azure private link to securely connect hybrid runbox workers to azure automation if you're new to this i recommend please go through this official documentation time to time i get queries like how to get the official documentation just google this one automation hyphen security hyphen guidelines then hash data security uh, space microsoft you'll get uh, the first result from the google that's how uh, you need to search for the official documentation i will log these options as the correct answer we are at question number 17 we will apply some tricks to easily get the answer so let's mark the keyword always mark the keyword so because the keyword tricks works after marking the keyword and the keyword is adult content so whenever you see keywords like adult content in the question then think about microsoft defender for endpoint and you should get your answer we'll keep this option and reject the rest let's look at the official documentation what it has to say to manage the policies yeah, this is how the you can uh, do the hands-on go to settings endpoints web content filtering under rules and um, here's a category adult content gambling is there so there is a long list you need to memorize this uh, just uh, um, in a nutshell it's related to adult content so any kind of adult content you know what to do and which option to select as mentioned it's gonna be uh, microsoft defender for endpoint we'll log this as the correct answer we are at question number 18 now let's look at option a first a says use privileged access workstation also known as paw for the kiosk privileged access workstations could get the job done as well but the question is about kiosk endpoints privileged access workstations are for admin privileged purposes since it's not the best fit we'll reject this let's move to option b b says onboard the kiosk to microsoft defender for endpoint and microsoft intune onboard the kiosk to microsoft intune and defender for endpoints um, to ensure that only uh, only authorized application can run on the kiosk this allows for the creation of custom device configuration profile that can restrict which apps are allowed to run on the kiosk intune can be used to regularly harden the kiosk against new threats we'll park this option looks good because we need to correct answer let's move to option c c says use threat and vulnerability management in microsoft defender for endpoint since vulnerability management sits on the top of defender for endpoint so this can be another potential answer we'll park this let's look at option d d says use azure monitor to onboard the kiosk this is distractor because we know that azure monitoring is a monitoring tool and uh, cannot be used to onboard the kiosk uh, this is uh, uh, just out we are left out with two options and we'll log this all right another easy question which we can tackle just by marking the keyword and the keyword says add watermark to email attachment so whenever you see keywords like add watermarks to email or any kind of document then think about microsoft information protection also known as sometimes azure information protection and you should get your answer so we'll keep option a and reject the rest if we look at the official documentation uh, here's also like diagrammatic view of it it's written azure 
uh, information protection for example apply confidential label to a document or email just remember it applies to document and email and that label encrypts the content and applies a confidential mark content markings include headers and footers as well as watermarks the lock option is azure information protection as the correct answer okay this is bit tricky question and we need to understand the scenario in order to efficiently answer it catch me live every saturday at 8 pm ist or 10:30 am edt and stand a chance to win perks like channel membership for free let's look at option a he says azure traffic manager and application security groups the traffic manager is a dns based routing for performance and speed so it cannot prevent malicious bots as required by the question let's move to option b b says the azure databricks so azure databricks is associated with data analytics and not a security service this is again out let's now move to option c c says network security groups also known as nsgs nsgs cannot prevent malicious bots because that's not the purpose of nsg nsg is not um, used for like uh, preventing uh, the bots this is uh, out we are left out with only one option azure application gateway web application firewall known as waf and uh, let's verify this in the official documentation it's written azure web application firewall on azure application gateway bot protection overview uh, it's described in this article roughly 20% of all internet traffic comes from bad bots they do things like scrapping scanning and looking for vulnerabilities in your web apps when these bots are stopped at waf that is web application firewall they can't attack you you can have a read at the entire article if you are uh, uh, new to bot protection will lock option d as the correct answer so please 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 don't go away let's meet at part 3 of this series which got to be more interesting